If you install Drupal 8 core and you want to modify the fields that are displayed on content types, how do you do that? Well, you can go to content types and then the manage display page and you can reorder the fields up or down, but you can't really add them into specific regions or customize the layout unless you want to write some custom code. Now, what Display Suite does is that it extends the, the standard manage display page. So instead of just being able to move fields up and down, the module gives you a collection of layouts with their own regions. So you can easily drop and move fields into specific regions. And of course, if you want to create your own layout, well, you can do all of that with a bit of custom code. So in today's video, I will show you how to set up Display Suite on the article content type. So here is the website that I'll be working in today. Now, the only thing I've done beforehand is I downloaded Display Suite and uh, Layout Plugins, which is a dependency for Display Suite. So to get started, just go to Structure, Manage Display, and click on Manage Display on the article row. If you want to, if you want to enable Display Suite for Basic Page, then just click on Manage Display on basic page and it will take you to the manage display page. So let's do that for article. And right here, you can see that this is the stock standard managed, managed display page. However, display suite has added in these extra options. So the first thing I'll do is I won't use the uh, default view mode because I like to use the full content view mode. So I'll just enable the full content And at this point, we haven't enabled Display Suite on the article content type. So click on full content in the tab. And now we need to select an actual layout and this will enable Display Suite on this particular view mode. So what I'll do is select two columns stacked. And most important, don't forget to click on save. This always gets me. Just click on save. Okay, so straight away you can see the regions for this particular two column stacked layout which, which we have selected. So header, left, right and footer. And, and you can also see a whole bunch of new fields. These are display suite fields and we'll cover them in, a, in another video. So what I'll do is I'll just add these fields into their specific regions. So let me just add in comments to footer, links to right, tag, tags to right, body to left, and image to right. And again, make sure you click on save at the bottom. Now, if we go to content, and here I've got a test article, which I previously created. I'll just click on test article. And you should see the fields and the regions. So we have the body field in the, in, in, in the left, uh, the image and tags in the right, and the comments are in the footer section, right? So that's how you use Display Suite, very basic. But as you can see, you can do a lot without writing any custom code. So let me now cover a more advanced topic, and that is overriding the Display Suite layout. Now, often, with complex projects, you may want to tweak the generated markup. And the best way to uh, do this is to simply override this Display Suite uh, layout tweak file, and that's it. And Display Suite makes it very easy. So what I'll do is just, just click on Manage Display. And if you were paying attention down here, you will see that we have these template suggestions. And so, and so this tells us the file names for the template which Drupal will grab and override. And luckily for us, we know exactly where this template is. So what I'll do is I'll just go to this uh, directory and copy it into the core Bartek theme. Now, do not do this on a production site. Rem remember, you don't want to override or modify anything that's in the core directory. But because I don't want to waste too much time, I'm just going to add it to the core Bartek theme. So what I'll do is go into PHP Storm, go to Modules, Contrib, Display Suite, and then Templates, and I'll find ds 2 stacked html.tweak, which is the one I want. 
I'll just copy that. And then I'll go to core themes and Bartek templates and paste that in. And what I'll do is I'll just add in. I'll, I'll add in a bit of text so that I know that this particular twig file has been picked up. So custom DS layout. Now don't forget to rebuild the site cache. So I'll just type in drush cache, sorry, drush cache rebuild. And then just give it a bit of time. There we go. And if we go to content and then go back to our test article, you will see that Drupal now is picking up our overridden twig template. Okay, now that you know how to override the template, let's look at changing the markup in a different way. So if I inspect the layout, you will see that we have this bit of markup, group header, group left, group right, group footer. Now, if you've used Drupal in the past, often, if you want to modify this bit of markup, you would override the template, but you don't have to override any templates to change this markup to a certain extent. If you really need, if you really need to customize it, then yes, you will have to override the template and go and then go crazy changing the markup. Now, Display Suite gives you a fair bit of flexibility with controlling this markup. And let, and let me demonstrate. Go into Manage Display. Let me just close that. And if you go to Custom Wrappers, you'll, you'll see that every region gets a dropdown which lets you select different HTML wrappers. So if we want to be semantic, okay, for the header, let's select header. And for the footer, let's select footer, okay? So click on save. And if we inspect, so let's go and inspect again and go back up, you will see that right now, the group header is using the header tag and the footer is using the footer tag where previously it used the div tag. So that gives you a bit of flexibility uh, with changing the generated markup. But let's go further. Let's go back. So let me just close this. Let's go back to manage display. And what I'll do is let's add in custom classes. So click on this manage region and field CSS classes. And what, and what you can do here is you can define a list of custom classes, which then will be added to the regions. Okay. So let me just put in CTA footer. And what I'll do is call this CTA footer. And so this will be the actual class name. And this is the label for the dropdown. But if you want to add in multiple classes, just copy paste that and just add one per line, but we'll just leave a single one and then just click on save configuration. Okay, let's go back into manage display. And then if we click on custom classes, we see now a bunch of multiple option fields where you can select the class which is created. So if I wanna add in so if I want to add, say, CTA footer, let's just add it to the footer and I click on save. Okay, so now if we just go in here and inspect, oh, this, can be, this can be fun trying to find the bit of markup and here we go. So here you can see that our custom class, CTA footer, has been added to the footer element. And we did all of this without writing any custom code. 